it's time to sew on those lovely little ears. So take your ear template and on your fabric trace out the ear twice. I'm using my air erasable marker pen and I'm drawing around the pattern piece and I'm just leaving a little notch to where the opening is. So they're both drawn on and as you can see they're both drawn on to one piece of uh, folded over fabric. Okay so I've now sewn around the ear template shape both pieces and it's time now to cut them out um, using my pink inches. Now do cut out nice and close to that stitch line um, because that's going to help with the curve of the ear. Um, I tend to leave a, a bit of a, a bigger seam allowance on the edge that you're going to turn it through. And then take your sharp scissors and just snip those two corners. And now it's time to turn the ears right side out. When you've turned it right side out just grab hold of your dotting tool and use your dotting tool to push out those uh, inside seams to make that ear nice and flat. Take time to get those corners pushed out really well so that you've got a nice sharp edge and then just fold that inside flap back in on itself. So there you have your first little ear. And then next take your skin coloured sewing thread and just do a, uh, a slip stitch just to close that um, opening seam. Okay, so that's sewn nicely together now. And then you're going to take your ear and fold it in half. And then you're going to sew just that small section, it's about halfway along. So about halfway along the ear, you're just going to sew that area closed. Just use a very small little slip stitch. Okay, so we've sewn halfway down, that's nice and tightly sewn and then when you fold it open you've got that lovely little ear shape and the good thing about this is also when you turn it over you've got a nice ear shape at the back as well. Now we're going to find the positioning for the ears. So if you feel on the side of her head, you'll feel where those knots are, that's where those cross stitches were. So once you've found them and located them, just pop, pop a pin in 
on both sides. And that's just going to give a, a general idea of where the ear positioning will be. So placing the ears is all trial and error to start with because you're going to keep moving them up and down um, until you're happy with the um, positioning. So I'm going to put a couple of pins in um, the front, just small pins, um, keeping that angled shape of the ear um, and then another pin at the back. So I just need to look at her straight on and the top of the ear needs to be ideally at the bottom of the eye line. Yeah, so yeah, I'm happy with that. So you're going to sew the first ear on and then you'll sew the second one on after the first one's been sewn on. Right, so now it's time to sew them on. So your thread will still be attached to your ear. So just bring it round the front. And on my other ear, I've also got um, my needle attached to that one as well. So hook your thread round to the front of the ear and then we're going to start sewing that ear in place using small little mattress stitches. So pick up a tiny piece of the ear fabric and then a tiny piece of the head fabric, back to the ear fabric, and back to the head fabric. Pull it nice and tight as you go. When you get to the top of the ear, turn her over and bring the needle through and then just start working down the back of the ear. And before you start sewing down the back of that ear, just make sure that it's nicely positioned and that it is sort of coming outwards and backwards um, just to give a nice realistic ear shape and then continue to sew the back of the ear in place as well
then just finish off with some nice tight stitches. And then take your needle into the heads and bring it up and out and you can fasten off there. So there we have our first little ear sewn on and as you can see it's the lovely little shape from all angles um, it looks quite realistic and now on to ear number two so what you need to do is you need to line it up just taking into consideration the ear that you've already stitched on and just try to get them to match as closely as possible. Just place a couple of pins in. It's all trial and error at this stage, you might have to jig your pins around a couple of times um, just to make sure that they are uh, both in alignment with each other. And then when you're happy with the positioning, just continue to sew this second ear on um, in the same manner that you sewed the first ear on. All done. So, both ears sewn on. I do love her little ears. They're so cute. They're big, but they're just so sweet. Lovely little ears. <laughs>